Hey guys, this is What If here, and welcome back to NASCAR 2003 for his 24 36 season 2 of the crew. We're going to Bristol today. Last race was at Michigan, and I shit you not, I won that race, and we won the race before that, which was Walker's Glen. So we had, we're, we're two in a row. I didn't think we would even have a chance at any other track besides the Tone Talladega this season. Um, again, I just have to say, um, there's a weird list for anything. I'm dealing with a freaking uh, canker sore, so bear with me. I'm I feel like shit, but I'm trying to just push on through. So here's what we're going with for Bristol. The game's been extra special today because it keeps it, it rolls up on me like twice already. So I don't know if it's just Bristol in general with this disc that I have because it's not my PS2 because uh, I I was playing like NASCAR 2002 and uh, Dirt Daytona and stuff off, off camera and that didn't cause any issues. So I, I think it's just the game. I mean the game itself is like 14 years old now. But, um, yeah, so we're going into this with uh, good stuff here. We're going to put in uh, the full-blown QB setup, even with the adjusted springs and all that. So it worked for us in the spring pretty damn well. And since we have a better car since then, maybe it'll be better. I I'm hoping so. But anyways, without further ado, I'm going to get in qualifying, you know, show the race setup and all that, and see what happens. Here's the car setup we're going with for the race today. Really, uh, nothing too much has been changed. I, I bumped the tire pressures down a little bit, so that might help out. Um, so, also I bumped the wedge up to 1.5, uh, gear reach, I think I bumped up fourth gear by about three notches. So, that's really about as far as the setup's concerned. Let's just see what we can do in qualifying. Time in this lap, push it, buddy. About to hit off turn for the first up, there's a 15.4, and that was almost, I think it was the same. Yeah, we get fourth place. Damn. That was close. I, that was, <laughs> laps tick by so fast here, but yeah. I'm, uh, man, I hope we can just have a decent run. That's all I, that's all I really want. I'm not even really expecting to win. I just want a decent run. That's all I want. Kyle Petty and Ricky Rudd start up in the front row. Let's get this night race at Bristol underway. Three, two, one. Green flags out. We got 50 laps. I want to get to the inside right away, but I really don't have any opening to go with. Now we do. Okay, perfect. So, um, we'll just see what we can do here. I'm just... Oh, please don't give up the bottom right away. The race just started. Mark, please. I don't want my back bumper to get OCD'd. Alright, come on. Stop it. Don't... Stop dive-bombing it. Okay. Alright. We got into a rhythm. Kind of. Maybe I made the car too tight. I don't know. We'll just see how it is in the, the longer run of the race. But man, I'm 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 pushing the car way too much. There goes Bill Elliott. Kind of, kind of. Jesus! I was. Oh my God. Well, we we got fifth place back and we're gonna lose it right up on I mean that's let I just don't know <laughs> oh good lord I was just gonna let Bill Elliott go by but the car s somehow still felt loose <laughs> I, I don't freaking know there goes Steve Park I just I couldn't keep it on the bottom anymore I just one little fuck up and it'll cost me spots and then that's just what happened right there. I'm gonna try to pit on lap 24, I guess, 25. I guess, I guess 24, but... Car, I mean, it's so weird, cause like... It, it's just, it's just, like, it wants to be good, but then it kinda sucks, but then it's good sometimes? I, I don't know, I'm just kinda... Just really trying to just defend the bottom as much as I can. God damn it, Jeff Purvis, you son of a bitch. Now, now both of my back bumper bumpers 
bumper? Well, it's plural, well, singular, but it's plural because there's there's a left and right, so that's more than one. So, um, the the point is that I got damaged. That's that's what I'm trying to convey. It took me a, a full lap to even get that point across. No, Jeff Purvis, no. It's my ninth play. Virtual P9, I should say. Oh, yeah, this is the track where uh, the caution comes out for Shauna Robinson doing something stupid, but that's not Shauna Robinson in the 49 car anymore, so. I don't know if that's going to get triggered again. I don't really know. So I don't see uh, that happening, I guess. I'm just going to stay out for one more lap just to be safe. But I don't think... Uh, since I, I don't, I guess it's just the 49 car that does it, which is very strange. Cause it, it's, I don't know. I guess it's not gonna happen. Well, we're gonna be pinned this time anyways. Please, nobody kill me. Thank you. Oh, John Andretti, what are you? What, what the fuck was that? You're a bomb. All right, now repair damage. I'm not gonna do anything. Pit crew again doing amazing. 15.2. That's oh man. I can tell. I'll, I'll tell you. Like every race. So and I can't remember the last time they legitimately had a shitty like pit stop or something. But they've been just on it. I just really wish I could be able to uh, deliver that sometimes because they're they're arguably better than me, <laughs> pretty much at this, at this point in the season. How I got those wins at Watkins Glen and uh, uh, freaking Michigan. Well, Watkins Glen was just kind of luck that we just stayed out for that long in Michigan. Uh, we kind of had decent pace, but we got really lucky with the caution and Bobby Labonte not being... There was a lot of just lucky things that kind of played into uh, to effect there, but... The win's definitely not going to be part of the equation today. But I would like to think that we'll at least get like a top 15. So I think that's where we got in the spring race. And that's much better than what I was... Uh, getting there originally without the, the QB setup, so it is a big help here, so trying to get by Harvick, I don't even know if he's for position, but we're just nonsensically trying to get by him, and yes, he is for position, so I don't know if we're going to able, uh, be able to get by him, but I think all oh, the pit stops are finally finally going to cycle out, so I think we'll just uh, be in 19th, which kind of sucks, because, I mean, we're like, what, 9th during all that, so yeah. That, it sucks a little bit. I, I couldn't even hold Tony Stewart off if I tried. He's just so much faster. Uh, yeah, he's not even in fucking position. Fuck Scott Wimmer. It's my fault, but goddamn. I think I gained another spot and I didn't even notice, but... Huh, well, alright. Okay, I don't know what exactly happened. I think Ricky Craven was getting out of the road, but... I don't know, we'll take an extra position. Scott Wimmer, he just flat out drove right around me. Oh my god, I don't know what it is. Like some tracks, like at, like at uh, like Pocono, and for example, like we ran worse in the second race. We have a better car since then, and somehow we're running worse. I I really don't know. Like Pocono, we got like 15th, 16th, and here we're just terrible. And Jared's about to lap us because Jared's just amazing. And I, I <laughs> what the fuck is this? I, I, well, what am I doing? Oh my god, I just... I just don't see ourselves even winning a championship, even in Season 3. There's just no... There's no way. The car is not even anywhere close. Like, it just has random bursts of, like, greatness. And then it just... Then, then there's just races like this where... 
it's like, yeah, I won two races in a row. That sounds crazy, but <laughs> I like how the sprint. I like how early in the career mode I'm doing better than I am now, even though the car is better. It doesn't make any sense. I, I don't, I don't fucking know what's going on. I can't even keep the car. I just, oh, good lord, that was close. I think we just gave Mark Martin the lead inadvertently, holding everybody up, because apparently we're the slowest fucking car on the racetrack, again. Like, I think the only reason I'm even in 24th is because I'm just holding people up. That's really why. I don't think I've, again, I've not legitimately passed one fucking car this race. So that's, that's really fucking assuring. Sorry, Bobby Hamilton. I'm just trying to just keep whatever track position I have left. God, I just... This game, man, it's, it is it is the hardest EA NASCAR game by a goddamn mile. Like, you can say, you can argue if Dirt Daytona is harder, but this game from the EA era, this is the hardest. It is just ridiculous. It is in, not ridiculous, but it's fucking just brutal. If I did not have a setup, I would be playing this for at least another three years. Every fucking day, almost, because... It's just, I wouldn't even be close to, to being competi competitive as of what I am now if I was just using default setup like 04, so it's just, it's, it is just, it, I can't even stress how difficult it is. Maybe on the Xbox it's easier because the controls are better and just the handling of the car sounds just better, I don't fucking know, but I just want to ride this out. I can't even keep the car on the bottom anymore. And we're gonna lose more fucking spots. Jesus Christ. This is pathetic. And I know normally like 25th is like, oh, that's a good spot. Oh, Jimmy Johnson, stop. I can't. I can't. I, I fucking can't. Just get this shit over with. I'm really, I don't feel like fucking yelling right now. It's just ridiculous. Just, again, just, this is one of those races like freaking, what, Chicagoland where we're just the slowest car on the fucking track. There we go. End this shit. God take this anymore. Mark Martin wins. Kyle Petty third. He won here in season one, so I shouldn't be shocked, but hey, Mark Martin, and anytime Mark Martin wins, I'll take it. We got decent earnings, not like 500k, that's not bad, it's just, fuck, it's just, it, Sterling, I don't even know Sterling Ronald was that far back, but yeah, again, again, we're just, we're just ass, just complete and utter fucking garbage, so that's fun. It's so much fun when you're the slowest car in the goddamn racetrack. Amy Hicks, 41st, what the all right. Well, who? Where did uh, Jeff Purvis finish? Fuck it. <laughs> Ninth place. Okay. Tabo nine eighth. Biffle eleventh. Park seventh. Um. L.A. Sattler sixth. Right. <laughs> Next race is Darlington. Oh boy, that's gonna be fun, right? Cause I sucked ass in season one so bad, so it's gonna be even. It's gonna be so much fun being the slowest car on the track again. Whatever. God, I'm just. Well. At least number seven came in, so that's good. What's the 72? If that's repair, if, if I don't even know if there's any way to even overhaul if there's even anything. That's the same. So we're just gonna repair it like normal. <sighs> I hate to bitch, I hate to whine, but man, it just went. When, when you're the slowest fucking car in the track, it's like when you are just being a roadblock. Or, ooh, I can't even stress it. Like it's one of those things where you really, really have to play it. And again, I'm playing it on Legend difficulty, no assist, no other bullshit, just... And it's fucking... It's... Ooh. Ooh, man, it's... Sometimes it rides that fine line of fucking difficult and just fucking nonsense bullshit, but... I don't know. Let's just go to cars, modify the shit we have. I Well, maybe also because I'm not really feeling the best. Maybe I'm just more salty than normal. Who freaking knows, but... Um... Let's just, uh... I don't even know. Check the chassis out one more time. There might be something better that I didn't even pay attention to. Yeah, number 11. So let's just go back to freaking cars, modify the shit we have, put in that newer chassis, and there you go. So again, going into this with the best stuff we have, we're probably going to suck. 69 car rating again. And chassis tire grid level 2. Whatever, how many more races. Check the point standings. We're probably going to drop like 12 spots. Yeah, oh, oh, I don't. I think we gained some ground. I don't know how. I don't know how. I think Rusty finished way far, really far back, but somehow gained spots. I wish I knew how. 
And Jarrett with not a good run. Dropped a lot in points. Mark Martin with his second win. Yeah, second win of the season. 197 points back. So Gordon closed the gap on Jarrett pretty good. So it'll be interesting to see how the points battle shakes up. But yeah, it's uh. We're not really in a shot to get 10th. We're 647. We're only like 130 points back, but. I, I don't know. I don't know how in the world we gain spots. So we finish terrible. I don't know. I don't. I, I don't know. That's it for this video. I don't want to. This game, a depression simulator, starting to kick back in again. I don't know, but thanks for watching. Like I always say, I do appreciate. It. Love you back. For all you guys, give me in the comment section below, and as well as the liking video because it helps me a lot in the long run. Also, a big shout out to my tier three Patreon supporters: Adele Reynolds, Braden Hill, Scott Browning, and Mark Kohler. Again, I really appreciate you guys donating your money. Did, and I can't say it enough how much I appreciate it. I'll see you all for the Southern 500. Can we make a legitimate pass on someone? I don't freaking know. I don't think so. But we'll find out. So I'll see you all later. And as always, have a good day, everyone.